On March 5, 1973, New York Yankees pitchers Fitz Peterson and Mike Kikik made an announcement to the world that they had made a trade. Both New York Yankees have traded their wives. Here's the story behind this crazy moment in baseball today on Daily Sports History. Welcome to Daily Sports History. I'm Ethan Reese, your guide to a rapid deep dive into sports history every day. Now, the New York Yankees had always been seen as class. Ever since their heyday back with Babe Ruth, Luke Gehrig, they had always been at the pinnacle of baseball. But in 1973, there was something else going on. So Fritz Peterson was highly thought of in the baseball community. He was an all-star in 1970 and had finished the previous season with 17 wins pitching for the Yankees. Kiki was more of a journeyman who had joined the Yankees and finished the year before with a 10-13 and 13 record. Not exactly impressive, but a playable asset. And both men actually lived close to each other in the state of New Jersey and frequently got together ever since they became teammates in 1969. And both men had said it was just something that happened. They started to spend more time together, and Fritz became in love with Mike's wife, Susan. And his wife was in love with Mike. And by the end of the year, in 1972, they had finally made plans where both men packed up their belongings and switched lives completely, moving into each other's houses. And Suzanne and Mike had two daughters, and Fritz and Marilyn had two sons, and they wanted to keep their life as normal as possible. So keeping the house and the mom where they were and switching the dads. I know, I know, this sounds like a Hollywood sitcom or a movie, and actually, it almost became one. Matt Damien and Ben Affleck were actually putting together scripts for this movie, but the families wouldn't sign off on it, as it'd be very hard to believe they could do it with class. And they wouldn't want their name spread through the mud as much as it had already been. Now, both mainly say this just is something that happened. It wasn't something planned. It wasn't, it was something that just, they fell in love with each other. And their marriages were on the rocks. And at the time, divorce was still a little taboo. In the 1970s, it had grown, but this was the beginning of the 1970s. Divorce rates in the 60s was at 24%. And it jumped to 40% in the 70s. And eventually got to 50% in the 80s. But this was still a taboo thing. And with them both being Yankees and in limelight, it's still something they didn't want to have happen. And as more and more people started to become aware of the situation that they had switched lives and switched wives and houses and families, they wanted to get the situation clear. And they told their GM and manager about what was going on. And they asked not to be traded in order to keep closer to their families, and so they could still support them and be part of their lives. Neither the manager or GM had any problems with this new setup. And the GM, Lee MacPhail, <laughs> made a joke at the press conference saying maybe they'll have to cancel family day, but otherwise they'd seem unfazed. And they backed up the players during the press conference saying they live their own lives, and whatever makes them happy, is what's important. And for the kids today, we're going to do what we can to keep them together. Even though everything seemed happy at the moment, things do begin to become rocky. As Fritz and Suzanne were very happy, Mike and Marilyn were not the same. They realized maybe they had made a mistake. After the relationship ended with Mike and Marilyn, Mike moved on and pitched with the Indians, Rangers, and Mariners before retiring in 1977. Finishing his career with a 39 and 51 career record in a 4.59 ERA. Nothing to write home about, but it had a solid career that lasted over 12 years. Fritz would also go on to finish career with the Rangers in 1976. Finishing with a career having a win loss record of 133 to 131 with an ERA of 3.3. A good pitcher for his time, but nothing of note. But Fritz and Suzanne are still together to this day. 
Unfortunately, Mike and Marilyn couldn't find things happy and broke things off. And Mike still holds a grudge to Fritz over what all happened. And how could you not? He essentially stole his wife. But sometimes it's about being happy. And maybe it would have been just better for them to get a divorce instead of having this whole thing drug through the news and everyone talk about their lives as if it was a movie that they didn't want to see. Thank you for listening to today's Daily Sports History. If you like this, please join our communities on our socials. We're on Daily Sports History at Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, YouTube. We'd love for you to join there. You can see little clips from each episode that we're going to do. And we'd love for you to come back tomorrow for more Daily Sports History.